So, let's continue class. So, dito na tayo sa here. Remember that the stock exchange is not a capital raising mechanism. As part of the secondary market, it is only adjunct to the capital raising market or primary market. It is a merely a place or means where existing shareholders can sell their shares to those who are ready to buy. So, ibig sabihin class, yung stock exchange or stock market, it's just only a place. So, let's say for example, here sa atin, kung if you have a product, so you can go to the market, sell it there. Or di kaya, if you want to buy some, uh, <clears throat> when you buy a livestock, so pumunta ka sa palingke. So, it's, uh, it's the same concept, just like stock exchange. So, when you buy, uh, when you want to buy a stocks or shares, so go to secondary market or the stock market. Or if you want to sell your shares, so, uh, you can go to stock market then, uh, it is uh, there, maraming bibili ng shares. So, the stock exchange in the stock market facilitates the flow of saving into investment by providing a ready market for the resale of securities. The inflow of funds in the stock market is one efficient way of directing a need resource in case money into growing economy. So, ibig sabihin daw class, kapag maraming transactions, in the stock market, ibig sabihin, maganda yung economy ng bansa. As such, the stock exchange plays a key role in economic development by providing a centralized environment that brings together the demanders and suppliers of funds to make secure the past transactions. So, ibig sabihin daw, class, it is part of the economic development ng isang bansa, yung pagkakaroon ng stock market. It's because uh, makikita ngayon ng uh, authority or ng government na uh, kapag marami ng stocks or marami ng nag engage into stocks, maraming nag initial public offering, ibig sabihin yung mga kumpanya lumalaki. And so, kapag lumalaki yung kumpanya, marami din yung nababayaran nilang tax. <clears throat> so, what are the over-the-counter market? So, here in over-the-counter market, Stocks of corporation not listed and therefore not traded in stock exchange but registered and licensed by the Securities and Exchange Commission for sale to the public are one only available in the so-called over-the-counter market. So, ibig sabihin daw class, uh, itong over-the-counter is another place. Diba? Stock exchange or stock market is a place. Here naman, yung over-the-counter market is uh, they are unlisted or not traded in the stock exchange pero they are uh, or they are licensed by the Securities and Exchange Commission this market is not a specific organization but another way of trading securities over the counter transactions are carried out by direct inquiries and negotiation among the buyers and sellers through the use of mail telephone telegraph teletype and other forms of communication so, let's say for example, ako, meron akong shares, ebebenta ko. So, I have the option to sell it through stock exchange. Or di kaya, another option, ebebenta ko directly sa isang tao. So, kapag ganon, over-the-counter transactions yung tawag doon. So, next, what are the advantages of stock market? So, ito yung mga advantage. Number one, the stock market is better market for trading of securities as opposed to over the counter because of the following. So, ito yung advantage ng stock market over over the counter. Most accessible market. So, it's because through the offices of members, firms located everywhere, even in the provinces, stocks are available to millions of people. So, ibig sabihin, kasi nga, uh, kapag yung tao bibili or magbebenta ng stocks, madali lang it's because there is a stock market. A ready market. With a simple phone call, an investor can buy and sell stock virtually within minutes. Market transactions are done swiftly, conveniently, and at a fair 
price. Ibig sabihin daw, class, kapag nasa stock exchange kasi, or nasa stock market yung shares ng bibilhin mo, uh, madali lang, uh, you can uh, locate it through uh, internet. So, kapag okay na sa'yo yung price, pwede mo nang bilhin. Tawagan mo lang ang stock market. <clears throat> Liquidity of the market. So, hundreds and different of stocks are available to thousands of buyers and sellers and can readily be turned into cash due to the large number of market players. So, ibig sabihin daw, class, uh, kapag magbebenta ka through stock exchange, madali siyang ibenta. Why? Kasi nga, maraming, uh, there are large number of market players dyan. Hindi lang ikaw. So, the over-the-counter market is generally much thinner or less liquid which makes it more difficult to sell at a certain time in a failing market due to lack of buyers. So, let's say for example, class, uh, you have a livestock, let's say for example, baka. So, kapag mag-ibebenta mo yung livestock mo sa isang tao or kahit na sinong tao, as long as direct, uh, direct buyer, mahirap yung ibenta. Kasi nga, let's say for example, uh, hindi nila gusto yung ibinebenta mo. Or di kaya, mahal yung pagbebenta mo. So, instead, uh, nagkakaroon ngayon ng market, or di kaya, there is a place where doon mo i-display yung ibebenta mo, maraming bibili doon. It's because maraming tao, or there is uh, so many involved na tao doon. So, operates in full public view. So, kapag yung stocks ng isang corporation nasa stock market, so, it is in the public. Ibig sabihin, kahit na sinong tao pwedeng uh, mag-inquire. Transactions and price data are readily available through newspapers, radio, television, information networks. So, di ba? Uh, kung makikita nyo sa mga dyaryo, may mga, there are uh, part in the newspaper na nandun yung mga presyo ng stocks. So, nandun, nandun din yung available number of shares na pwedeng bilhin or pwedeng ibenta. So, unlike the stock exchange, the over-the-counter stock prices are not published daily in the newspapers which makes it more difficult for an investor to keep track of his investments. So, let's say for example, meron kang shares. Ang presyo ngayon ng shares mo, let's say for example, 100 pesos. Bukas, uh, hindi mo masiguradong 100 pesos yan. It's because nga, uh, hi, uh, hindi magkakapareho-pareho yung uh, taas-baba ng stock market. <clears throat> so, who are the players in the stock market? So, sino mga involved? Investors are the ones who buy and sell securities in the hope of receiving dividend income and making a profit through Capital appreciation. So, unang-una dyan, syempre yung mga investors. Sila yung nagbebenta, sila yung, sila din yung bumibili. These buyers and sellers are not the only players in the stock market. Other persons or institutions ensure that the stock market is readily accessible, efficient, orderly, and transparent market. These are, so si investors daw, stockbroker. Pwede siya ang stockbroker. So, stock broker, let's say for example, uh, ako, uh, I, I will be a broker. So, iko-consult ko ngayon yung isang corporation. Corporation, uh, corporation A. Let's say for example, si corporation A, itatap ko. So, since magbebenta siya ng shares niya at 100 pesos per share, so me, as a stock broker, ako, yung, ako na yung magiging uh, magbebenta na. So, ibebenta ko at 120 pesos per share. So, yung 20 pesos sa akin, yung 100 doon sa company A. That is a stock broker. Anyone who wishes to buy shares of stock or bonds must have a stock broker. He acts as an agent or middleman between the investor and, and other buyers or sellers. So, since yung mga stock broker are serve as a middleman. As an intermediary, the stock broker execute order for clients for chasing or selling the stocks on the stock exchange. He is the only person or corporation authorized and licensed by the Securities and Exchange Commission to trade in securities. 
they are commonly known as member, member brokers, member firms of the Philippine Stock Exchange. So, before you, before ka ma-qualify na stock broker, dapat uh, pumasa ka muna. Unang-una kay Securities and Exchange Commission. And after kay Securities and Exchange Commission, magpa-member ka rin kay Philippine Stock Exchange. Next, Stock Exchange. So, one of the player. This is the organization that oversees the transaction of the buyers and sellers placed through the member brokers. Its professional management ensures that the market is efficient, fair, transparent, and orderly by enforcing its rules and regulation. So, itong stock exchange class is uh, organization or isang kumpanya. So, sila yung nag-oversee. So, they, they are the facilitator. Transfer agent. So, transfer agent, when shares are purchased and transferred from the seller to the buyer, the transaction should be recorded in the stock books of every listed company which record the company, the complete shareholdings of each stockholder of the company. So, but most companies have this record keeping done by separate agency called the transfer agent. Thus, when a transaction has been done, the details are kept in a ledger or record book by the company's transfer agent. As such, the transfer agent maintains the ledgers for each issuer company, showing the name, address of, and the number of shares held by each registered stockholder. Another function of a transfer agent, which is either a commercial bank or trust company, is to cancel all certificates issue new shares and change the name of the certificates into the buyer's name when the shares have been sold. So, let's say for example, class, uh, kapag uh, bebili ka kasi ng shares, uh, meron kang matatanggap niyan, parang share certificate, ang, share certificate ang tawag doon. Doon sa share certificate, nakalagay yung pangalan mo doon na you Ah, uh, let's na nakalagay doon yung pangalan, Juan de la Cruz. Si Juan de la Cruz, meron siyang shares, meron siyang 10,000 shares ni San Miguel Corporation. So, ngayon, kapag si Juan de la Cruz ibebenta niya na ngayon kay sa ibang tao, and then since yung ibang tao naman, or let's say for example si Pedro, since si Pedro gusto niyang ipalipat yung name ng share certificate sa pangalan niya. So, ang si transfer agent na ang bahala doon. So, yung bagong share certificate is papalitan ng bago. It's because ka meron nang nakabiling other person. So, yun yung mga uh, they are transfer agent. But mostly class, yung stock broker, uh, they serve also a transfer agent. So, or di kaya pwedeng commercial bank or trust company. Clearing house. So, when a transaction has been made, the seller through his stockbroker has to deliver the stock certificate to the buyer who in turn ordered his stockbroker to pay for the shares purchase. This seems to be the easy process, but considering the thousands of transactions executed every day and nearly 200 stockbrokers involved, broker to broker payments. So, clearing house. So, dito na yung uh, place where magkakaroon na ng bayaran. So, pwedeng sa bangko or there are separate uh, place para doon sa bayaran. So, syempre, magbebenta ka, may bayad. Babayaran yung shares na bibil kayo. Listed company. A corporation that offers the list its shares in the stock exchange is called listed company or issuer. So, take note last, kapag yung isang corporation are in a public, ibig sabihin nakikita ng public, they are listed company. So, ano itong mga listed company? So, maghanap kayo ng dyaryo, dun sa business side, nandun lahat ng listed company. So, syempre, nandun yung mga BDO, BPI, or kahit as long as malalaking korporasyon. A listed company is also known as publicly owned company. So, publicly owned company. It's because nga, uh, ang may-ari nun is public. In view of the fact that its share were sold to the investing public, these are companies that raise their required funds through the shots issuance of securities to the public. So, public listed company. Thank you.
So that's all class.